I was born and raised 20 miles southeast Hugo, by a little place called Buero, Colorado. And we, I'd see the steam engines coming through there all the time and would watch them hang the mail sack of a morning and watch it snap it off the, the stand and everything. I love to come to the where the depot, you know, and listen to the conductors. Hard all aboard. So it's just a childhood thing. But I did think it, this place needed saved. People don't even know what a roundhouse is. It's, a, it's an engine house. This building is so very rare. Uh, Union Pacific only has three roundhouses left in the country, and Hugo has one of them. I'm Roxy Devers, and my role with the roundhouse started back in 2002. One day, the commissioners had a meeting, and they asked me, how are you at writing grants? And I said, well, I guess I can do that. I said, what do you want me to write a grant about? We think we need to save the roundhouse. And at the same time, we decided that we needed a nonprofit formed to work in partnership with the county. And the nonprofit would take the lead on the restoration. So Roundhouse Preservation Inc. was formed at that time. 2002, uh, I filled out the application for Colorado Preservation Inc.'s Endangered Places program, and the Roundhouse was put on that. And that helped us a lot because it brought uh, interest to the building. It, it brought notoriety to the building. All of a sudden, it was out there. People could see that we were working on this Roundhouse, and it's a significant structure. I think the low point was in 2008 when that south wind came through and, and blew out part of the north wall. I came down here and I'm not one to cry, but I had tears in my eyes and I saw all those bricks on the ground. Oh my gosh, what were we going to do now? And The roof had collapsed and some of the arches were lost. And so we got that done. They washed the exterior of the building and that brought a lot of interest to it because everyone could see how beautiful the original brick had been. The windows are all in, they look fantastic. It, it's just so unique and to see it coming back to life and being, being saved, that's just so significant. My hope for the future with this building being restored is of course the museum. We'd like to get us a switch engine or locomotive uh, that really operates. I think ideally it would be a working museum. It's important to have a dream for, for your project and to believe in that dream. Once you believe in that dream, you know, nothing's going to stop you. But to me, this is a, one of the best dollars the county ever spent, is the way I feel. It makes me feel good, it really does.